Jerry, first pre-season game out the way. What did you make of it this evening? I was really pleased with that, Mark. So tonight was very much about um, minutes in the legs. As you saw, we had 20 players, which is, well, 21, obviously, um, outfield players, which is really unusual for us, um, which is a luxury, which I, I really enjoyed it. and meant that everyone could get 45 minutes, um, which was the plan. We thought about, do we go all senior players and then start the second half with all young, young lads from the college, obviously, at SGS. I have to thank then David Hockaday for allowing us to have those players because without them, we wouldn't be able to do that. Um, and obviously, there's a young player next to an experienced player, a young one next to an experienced player. So it was, um, it was never going to be perfect in way of talking about results. But actually, when you look at the game, it wasn't really a 3-1 game. Um, we started the game really well. Great goal from Luke Spokes. I thought really good individual ability. I thought we handled the ball a lot better than we did last pre-season for sure. We looked like we were building those patterns already without doing too much work. But again, it was all about the physical outcome of the game. We, as you saw, we, we ran the boys after the first 45 minutes and we ran the second lot as well after the full-time whistle. So we got everything we want out of it. Forget the mistakes in the game. It's not it's irrelevant, really. Forget the result. Um, the boys will benefit massively from that tonight. Yeah, the fitness-wise looked good. And with those SGS players as well, have they been training with you over the summer? No. No, they've been in with their own programme. Uh, they've gone in and um, I think they've only had one, one game anyway in their programme. So it's difficult. They train once with us. They train Monday night. So they come into a completely new environment. Make no bones about that as well. It's difficult for them to come in, whether it's 300 or 3,000, to come and play in Bassett's first team is tough. So credit to all those individuals that came and played for us. I thought they were terrific. Um, and for us, as you saw, I've mixed up our starting elevens completely. So um, we'll keep them all guessing until um, until it comes to the point where we feel like we need to put our strongest eleven in there. But this gets us off to a really good foot start. I want to say thanks to Colchester United for coming down. Really great to catch up with Noah. Had a really good sort of fifteen minutes before and then ten minutes after as well. He was really grateful, respectful, and said how much he loved this place and how much his family did. And he's in where his career is because of this lone move as well. That was nice. Um, but Wayne Brown, I know very well, the manager as well, and obviously Steve Ball, technical director down there. So, yeah, hopefully they got, which they did, they got what they wanted from it. That's a team there that's out on their legs. They've had a real strenuous four or five days. Um, but for us as well, we train really hard on Monday night. Um, so the levels aren't ever going to be where they want to be for all the sixth, but I think we're ahead of the we're ahead of the game where we want to be, certainly in fitness levels. Yeah. Terrific solo goal from Luke Spokes. There's a lot of competition in that midfield. He hasn't done himself any harms with little runs and fine finishes like that. No, no, he's got he's got wonderful ability. You don't have to see his montage of clips when we announced it. Um, he's got goals. He wants to play higher up the pitch. Um, I thought I thought we saw what Chris Lyons is all about. Can mm. handle the ball, can pick a pass, um, determined and very, yeah, very very good with his information to other players around it as well. Um, of course, there's other bits we need to work on because if we suddenly become a predictable team that always goes through a deep line midfielder, that'll get stopped and other people have got to try and have an effect on the game, which I thought we did first half. Um, I thought second half they were a lot better and their movement, their rotations were a lot better. Um, but we stuck in, we stuck in and we created some half chances ourselves. And um, yeah, overall, it's a, it's a wonderful night's work. And um, we're really pleased to start because the biggest thing is we've only got one injury and that's the, one of the young SGS boys, unfortunately, young Scott Taylor. Um, he's, he's got an ankle injury, which looks quite bad. He's gone for an x ray. So hopefully he's okay. Um, other than that, we've all come through on skate. You had Joe Wright in goal, who you signed, it was announced today. Has he trained with the squad at all? Yeah, he's trained once, came down um, on Monday, trained with the group. So um, I, thought, I thought you saw what he's all about. He's a, he's Positioning a is good, isn't it? Very good. Yeah. He sweeps up very well behind it, he understands it. Um, he's got. Um, He's got, a, he's got an old head on young shoulders as well, left footed like Ryan really. It's almost like a mini me of Ryan. And um, yeah, he's only ever going to get better with us once he starts to build those relationships with what will be a completely different back four, of course, when we start. So um, really good lad, great professional. Um, again, I want to thank Gary Rowett, Kevin Nugent, and Don Coleman, who we have here, obviously as our goalkeeping coach. And um, and of course, Rich, Rich, Rich Lee, who's his, his agent as well. So got to thank, got to thank Millwall for that, he's with us for a season. He can be down training with us every time we train. He'll train with us. Um, he came down with his dad today, so another one that's really committed to the football club. Cheltenham next on Saturday. I think they're the only club you made more appearances for than Bath City. So a nice reunion with them. Are we going to have similar squad for that game as many players? I think so. Yeah, we might start to crank it up a little bit. We might start to look at maybe 60 minutes for some of them. 
Um, and then Rovers again will start we'll start the other way around possibly. Um, but yeah, we'll have a look. We've, we've had a meeting now as a staff to talk about the players. We'll get a bit of feedback from them. They're not going to be in now till Saturday. Um, so they'll need to go away and do some recovery sessions. But that'll be a tough one. Um, obviously, a uh, lead one side. Wade Elliott coming down. You know, I know he's been there as a coach under Michael, but it's his team now. It'll be interesting to see how they're going, what sort of shape they're playing. I think they'll probably stay with back three. Um, normally a very, very, very strong physical side. Lots of long throws, good at set plays. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to catching up with a lot of Chapman fans. I know there's a few coming down. I've already spoken on social media, so I look forward to that as well. And um, about, about us then is about, again, building the fitness. Um, we're trying to do well in the game, but as I said, we're going to take the focus away from results for a minute um, and then and just keep working physically.